So tell me where you're from. I'm from Sydney, Australia. And you were here for CNO3 this weekend. What'd you think? I loved it. What did you learn? You know, I learned, uh, I learned an addition to CNO1. Yeah. I, it filled in some things that CNO1 didn't, didn't, some of the holes that CNO1 didn't fill. And it probably helped me assess things better. And I think the great thing about that is that sometimes it's as important to know when not to treat as it is when to treat. Yeah. And I think this has given me some really good guidelines as to when to walk away. And which is doing both myself and the patient service. Yes, and being able to identify the patients that we can't help. Yes. Right? Through yes. the dental treatments. Right. But you're probably gonna help them diagnostically in a big way, right? I think so. Yeah, the I MRIs. Know so. I know so. I know so. Yeah, the MRIs, the sympathetics, yeah. the digital metrics, that's all really important stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have any advice for other dentists? I would say if you want to up your level of skill, yeah. this would be a great place to start. How about for the orthodontist and the endodontist, for example? Big time. Big, big time. Big time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Growth and development, all the stuff that most of us miss. And I mentioned too, of course, that the endodontist that I work with said, well, I see teeth all the time that I don't know what's going on. Yep. You're so, going to bring that to Australia, aren't you? Yeah. So tell me where you're from. Okay, I'm from Spain, from the Canary Island. And you're here for CNO3. What do you think? Uh, okay, it's great. It changed the way I practice at home from CNO1 to CNO3. Uh, perhaps I made a 180 degrees change in my practice. What did it do for you, in general? Uh, what I'm doing, normally. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a practice and we do more digital things, like uh, uh, implants by um, yeah. digital surgery, orthodontics, and periodontics, and so on. And really, really, I, I always was scared about what's happening, reading bites, because I, I didn't know exactly what, what was happening. Mm -hmm. or, or because I, sometimes we have, have some, some failures. Yeah. Now it's more or less more clear. It's more predictable, isn't it? Yeah. You can predict efficacy now. For sure. Yeah, the MRI the interpretation, the growth and development stuff, it's a big deal, isn't it's, it? It's, 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 a nice, it's a nice form to work also. Yeah. Because you are more confident on what, what you're doing. Yeah, big time. And you can have, you can have your passion. Yeah. Uh, any advice for other doctors in Europe? Do you uh, think they should come? This is a must. You have to do it. The CNO? Yeah. Start with CNOF, maybe go online? It should, be, it should be in the university. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll be over there in Spain lecturing with you here in the next year or two. For sure. I'll wait, <laughs> wait you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tell me where you're from. Uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. And you were here at CNO3 2019. What did you think of the course? I thought the course was awesome. It was truly the, as you say, the sort of the missing link. Yeah. Uh, we, we learned a lot about the MAG and DTR, uh, but being able to, uh, more than just the CT scans, but being able to see MRIs now in a whole different way, and so I can now have an educated conversation with someone like Piper or Zivovitz or you. Yeah. The problem that's going on, being able to recognize things now and put numbers to it. That's that's the great thing. We haven't been able, you know, being able to predict efficacy, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so it, it helps you. You can read an MRI now, kind of, right? Sure. Gives you an idea if uh, occlusal therapy is appropriate. Right. Definitely. Uh, <clears throat> and it certainly could help keep one out of trouble because now you know who you need to be working on and who you might not need to be working on. And that's, that's kind of the key for everything, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you have any advice for other dentists? I would say anyone who, first of all, if you haven't taken CN, you know, CNO1, you need to do that. And after that, I would say anybody who's taken the time to do that, you truly owe it to yourself to take CNO3. And your patients. Or you're, or you're missing the boat. Yeah. Well, thank you very your much. Patients deserve that. Yes, they do.